Hey folks, Chris Vandeviver here with Logic Pro Expert. Today's video is a collaborative piece between Eli and I, or I should say a competitive piece. We're having a remix battle using two Apple loops and using the brand new remix effects that comes included with the 10.5 update of Logic. Now this is gonna be an interesting battle because remixing, live loops, all this stuff is something that I don't use and have never gotten involved with in the past. So this is a really exciting endeavor. We're using the remix effects to write automation as we perform using these two loops and they're looped for about roughly two minutes. I'm using the live loop section just as an easy way to keep the loops going while being able to record automation. Now I'm using my iPhone with the Logic Remote to play with the remix effects and be able to turn loops off and on. I just found it way easier than trying to use a mouse. And in my rehearsals, I found just using Logic Remote allowed me two hands instead of one. So let's check it out. So I hope you found this interesting. It's pretty intriguing to play around with the iPhone and be able to use the iPhone as a controller, much like a MIDI controller. And let's just pop open some of the automation lanes so you can see everything that's been written to the stereo output. And I've applied the remix effects to the stereo output itself. I gotta say, this is a lot of fun and I could definitely see using live loops and the remix effects kind of in conjunction with each other to create compositions that on the fly and it would be a ton of fun. And I gotta say, I am sold on the Logic Remote experience. I've never dove that much into it where I've always tried to find a MIDI controller that just tightly integrates with Logic, which is kind of few and far between. There's the Roly Seaboard and the blocks that come with it and I've tried that out. It almost bridges the gap, but Logic Remote is pretty awesome. And if this is the experience, I think I'm definitely going to be looking into an iPad to be able to use as a MIDI controller, as a mixer. I really enjoy it quite a bit. So I hope you found this video helpful. Once again, I'm Chris Vandeviver, a Logic Pro expert.